Hi there. Well, we're in my little home office here, and I'm going to start this series. It's going to be a, a six-part series, um, all about money and how God really wants to teach us and train us His different steps that we can get to. And uh, if we miss some things, we're going to miss out on some pretty good blessings. So I want to explain those to you in the next six sessions. The first five are going to be used to spell out the word money as I've done here on the chart. The M in money is for motivation. What motivates you to have money in the first place? And we'll cover that the first week. There's two things um, that I want to cover in the first week. One is the tithing concept and two is what does God really want a Christians to do. That is those who follow Christ, what kind of investment did he say for us to make into his work? And was tithing a part of that? So that's the first session. The second one, O in money, is obligations. You have certain obligations. We call that a monthly budget. So the second uh, session that I'm going to speak about is all about budgets. In Luke chapter 14, verse uh, 28 through 30, it talks about if you don't have a budget, if you cannot count the cost, then you can't manage what God's going to give you. So if you don't want to do a budget um, and all of that kind of stuff, not a problem, uh, but you're going to miss out on the blessing. I'm also trying to find, and I believe I did, and I'll explain to you in the second session, of a free openoffice.org they have a, a spreadsheet that you can download. It's free, so you can't beat free. And I'm going to work that budget, so by the time the second session comes along, I'll be able to do my tutorial on uh, establishing the budget. And again, I, God has proven to me a thousand different times, John, no budget, no money beyond. He'll take, he promises in Matthew 6.33 to take care of our monthly obligations. Oh, obligations. We have obligations. We have to pay the electric bill. We have to pay our mortgage and so forth and so on. But there's some things in a budget we don't have to pay. It's sort of a, we want to have this stuff. We call that credit, credit cards and so forth. So we have obligations and then we have things that are not obligations. But on God's side of the fence, fence, fence? On God's side of the fence, he's obligated too because he made a certain promise that if you do this, I'll take care of your monthly budget. We'll talk about that. The third week is N, necessities. Well, what do you need to have? Not needs like that you buy, although that will be part of that third session, but necessities are people need things. They, you need strength, you need emotion, you need health. You need all kinds of stuff and how God can meet those needs. And it's all concerning this thing called money. Jesus talked about money over 2,200 times in the New Testament alone. And he's proven to me from being extremely wealthy, let's say, to dead broke. So I've come across the whole spectrum. But I uh, set out, before I wrote my 420-page book, Invest Here and Hereafter, which won't be ready for a little while. It's done, but I'm missing one ingredient, and then I'll share that with you at that time. But And this, all of this is out of that book, by the way. But the most important thing that God has taught me is, John, I want to get you beyond I'll take care of your daily bread budget. I want you to do, and you, to do certain things for me, because I'm not there to do it. I work through my people. And when I work through my people and I want them to do certain things, I'll supply the money, I'll supply the talent, I'll supply the time uh, for you or anybody who wants to be in my plan and program, and I'll supply all the end necessities that they will need to get the job done. And by the way, the bonus of all this that I'm talking about will come under E, which is the next one, earnings. You earn money now from a job, from whatever, but I have earned money from out of the blue. I call that just God's gift. 
And as I started to, to say uh, a couple of minutes ago, when I first started this entire program, um, God sort of implied to me that he, he really wants to show me how he wants to bless me and or you. And the reason I say that is there's an Old Testament Bible verse and it says, God is saying to you and to me, prove me now herewith and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. He was talking to the nation of Israel. Of course, the Old Testament is all talking to the nation of Israel. But that same principle applies. God is a God who loves to be proven. He doesn't have to prove himself. He's God. But he wants you to, to prove him, meaning, see if I won't do what I say that I'll do. And he's proven to me through this whole uh, trip that I've been on since December of 2007 when I asked God to put me on his plan, his purpose for my life, instead of doing things the way I did it. Uh, for any newcomers, if you don't know me, then that's okay, but God has given me in my past life millions, multi-millions of dollars, and I had everything. Believe me, out three houses, cars, you name it. So I had all that stuff, but in December of 07, I wanted to ask God, you know, Lord, show me your plan and purpose, because your plan and purpose is going to be far better than anything John Tyler could come up with. And you know what? It's been absolutely a phenomenal trip. This is the stuff I want to share with you. Not a trip about John Tyler and whoop de doo look at Johnny Boy. It's you can be doing whoop de doo and you should be. I missed years and years and years of whoop de doo because I did things my way. Now that I'm doing things God's way, he's proving himself and he's been totally accurate and he's every one of his promises that he promised that I want to show you will get you past just paying for your budget and get you into excess. And the, part of the earnings is, I'll show you on the bottom line of your budget, there's a thing called prosperity. That's how much you have left over. That's the line that God wants to increase dramatically. So that my goal, not patting me on the back, just giving God all the credit, my goal, and he's almost got me there now, is to give 90%. So those of you who are complaining about you, oh, I got a tithe, which you don't, by the way, not... Biblically, you don't. Um, but you complain about 10%, yet you don't mind paying 29% to a credit card, uh, a creditor, for the use of their money. But to God, 10%, eh. So I'm not looking for your money. God could care less about your money. He owns it all. Anyway, he's trying to show you how he wants to share what he has. The windows of heaven opened up wide, and he pours them out onto you and I'll share some unbelievable miracles of how he did that in the past week or two with me through these five uh, sessions on money and then a final session when money will become obsolete and paper money will be no more and I want to show you that while we have the opportunity to do God's work to invest in his kingdom he'll that 10 percent out of the 100% he's going to give me the, the thing called prosperity at the end of the bottom line of the budget. That, as that increases, and, and I give him back even 90%, you don't have to. I prefer to, I want to, and i got to share that with you on a thing called the Samuel Fund that we started, which is taking God's money and giving it to the poor, the widows, the orphans, and to spread the gospel throughout the world. And God just keeps increasing that fund. It's unbelievable. That's part of your earnings, part of money. And then why is for yoke? You say yoke, what is that, like an egg yoke? No, that's Y-O-L-K. Yoke is something like you've seen on two oxen pulling together, doing the same uh, chore, not pulling apart, but focused on what's before them. And they are yoked together, equally yoked together. And they're both pulling toward the goal. And the goal might be finishing a field like oxen were used for. But God wants to show you, and he's already shown me, how he wants to be yoked with you 
and he's already yoked with me or vice versa and we're both plotting toward that same goal. That's his plan and purpose for your life. So I'm anxious to share this with you so I'm going to wipe out whatever I had up here on YouTube and I'm going to uh, try to keep these sh as short as I possibly can. They might go a half hour, they might go an hour, but you know what, five hours, well six with the last one about the end of money. Those six sessions, so six hours maximum, is that worth, I mean six hours, it's, it's, what is that? What portion of a day is that even? Nothing. So if you spend an hour a week watching this, an hour a week out of 168 hours, it's going to be the best time, I'm, I'm promising you, when you go all the way through this course, which is free, then you're going to be a lot wiser than you were before. And I'm demonstrating, I should say God's demonstrating through me so I can show you what He is um, planning for you. So I'll see you next week with the first session, M, Motivation. See you next week.